And from Chicago, back to Roner Park, we're live in the studio once again, wrapping up our co coverage of the election this evening. It has been a busy night on the national front, and there's a lot going on here in the Sonoma County end of things, too. One of the pieces of unfinished business that we want to attend to, maybe we won't get it finished, but we want to pay attention to it all the same, is the city council race in the city of Santa Rosa. There are seven candidates vying for four open seats there, and we have one of them joining us, Aaron Carlstrom, a first-time candidate. Yes who uh, is in that top four as things stand right now. Congratulations. Thank you. It's, it's very close. I'm, we're, not, uh, we're not celebrating yet, but thank you. <laughs> so you are by a considerable measure the youngest candidate in the race. Does that give you an advantage in any way, do you think? Well, I think it certainly gave me a different group of, of volunteers and supporters. Uh, you know, I, I'm so grateful to all of the, the friends who became volunteers, the volunteers who became friends. Um, we walked an incredible number of doors, uh, and, and, and if nothing else, I think we had that chance um, because because of that that age group. So, you're part of you're seen as part of a group that was pro neighborhood, pro environmental, obviously pro pro youth. Um, <laughs> And there may be a balance of power tilting the other way on the city council if you're successful. It, it's honestly too close to call. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm hopeful to work with whomever gets elected if I'm lucky enough to get elected as well. Erin, it seems to be the way you've positioned yourself for a person who's just running seems almost brilliant <laughs> in that what you've done is you've, you've, you've kind of straddled those two divisions that Santa Rosa has been plagued with and tried to have an appeal across the board, would that be correct to say? That, that was the plan all along. Um, I came into the campaign, you know, I, I'm a business owner and I work with businesses, but obviously I care very deeply about uh, the health of our environment and the voice of our neighborhoods. Um, and as the president just pointed out, you know, we, we are bigger than our politics suggest and, and we are not as cynical as the pundits would have us believe. And, and I think in, in Santa Rosa, the beautiful part about our city is we agree on 80 to 85 percent of issues. And, and I really came into the campaign hopeful that I could encourage people to, to find places where we have commonalities and work from those rather than um, continuing to, to try to, to, to perpetuate those entrenchments. Who reached out to whom when you uh, made your sort of co-endorsement with Mayor Oliveras? Well, um, he actually had received one of my campaign mailers, um, which the, you know, the slogan for my campaign is Together, A New Future for Santa Rosa, and, and he reached out to me after having received that and said that was something that he might be interested in, in learning more about and, and talking with me, and, and so we had that chance. Um, this is, of course, you know, after I had endorsed uh, three of the other candidates and um, had, had some, some good conversations, recognizing that we came from different, different um, viewpoints on a lot of issues. Um, but with that commitment uh, to, to try to work together um, for Santa Rosa. You got some, back, some blowback on that, some pushback. We did get, we did get some pushback, um, but you know, we also had what I considered an overwhelming amount of support come out of the community. Um, everyone from neighborhood leaders um, up to our, obviously our elected officials came forward saying, you know, how great they thought this was, that Santa Rosa needs this type of collaboration, and uh, I was very grateful for that. Well, for some years, Santa Rosa seems to have been polarized. Two, two different camps, different views of things. Are the voters reaching out for somebody who's going to be the honest broker, somebody who's going to, going to perhaps not be a camp member? That's that's my hope. You know, we we've got so few precincts reporting. We don't know yet. I, I, Twenty-seven at the moment. Oh, okay. Last I saw, we're six. <laughs> You've got more data than I. Um, I, I. You know, like I said, I've just been so grateful for the support I have gotten. Um, voters have taken a chance on me. Donors have taken a chance, and I'm really grateful for that. Aaron, people in politics lately have been mailing out hit pieces, dirty mailers, things like that. You've been handing out cookies <laughs> that say Aaron on them, and I just want to say that, along with potholders, I love potholders. <laughs> You've got, uh, you got to be the sweetest uh, campaign. Uh, 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 you've you've got the two time. people here at KRCB. <laughs> on, on, I love on, it. We like this. <laughs> well, that's great. Uh, courtesy of some of my campaign volunteers and very good friends nice and, and one of our local bakers. The way to the voters sue the sweet. Aaron Carlson, thank you very much for being with us. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming me. to KRCB. Have a good night.